So uh, moving to next, this is a demonstration on the VRF flight inter VRF routing. So in our last lab or last discussion, what we have done, we have defined the inter VRF route leaking. So how the inter VRF route leaking? If I'm going to look at that one, so both VRF VMs going to talk to each other, which I have already covered in last video or last discussion. So the idea is to remove that routing first, since it's the static routing and define the inter VRF routing so inter VRF going to be talked to each other so this is all about the idea it's correct so what I'll do I am initiating a continuous ping in that way it's going to be drop the ping okay so uh, jumping back to the VRF glue routing static route delete delete close close editing so let's see we got the communications drop now okay and same thing i'm going to perform for the vrf right routing one delete close So both the VMs are not able to reach each other now. So what I'll do, I'm going to define the inter VRF routing. So how we do that? So in the inter VRF routing, the idea is to, it can be from any VRF to VRF, either child to child, or can be from parent to child. So for example, if we have any network which is talking uh, connected to T0, for example, if we have this network, um, okay, it's up okay so like i said these all are uh, this is the parent ps0 or you can say the parent and where this is the child vrf so if you need intercommunication from the in between the vrf child to child you can do it but if you want child to uh, parent so if, if there would be any any shared services which is sitting on here so you can you know isolate or uh, right now the things are in isolation so if you need to uh, share that service to among the other one so you can define that one so how we can define it this is the way i'm going to cover it right now okay so the idea is to cover the both the child and so you know both the net is going to talk to each other and in that way so we need to click here and click that vrf go to the interface or oh sorry go to the routing like which i said inter vrf routing click here add inter vrf routing define uh, either the source or destination here we have defining on the blue to connect to which like i said with the child so this is the child you can say here is also saying like parent tier 0 and tier 0 vrf so we need to talk to the child to child okay and the advertisement out rule click here set add advertisement out rule here define here name anything like to red if we are not giving any option here it's going to be send the entire routing table so i'm going to okay with that click add apply and here's the option to filter this one i'll cover that point later on bgp route leak this is the option where we can filter the traffic like for example if we have 10 routes advertising using this rule so we can filter using this one so click save and refresh it and close and again click on close editing the same thing i need to perform on that tier thread go to the interviewer routing add interviewer routing connect it to another child which is a blue one click on advertisement out rule advertisement out rule define it to words blue not picking anything so you can define and it's going to be send all so i'm going to be up the send all since it's a lab i won't recommend you to go with the production 
you define must have the filter list or select the anything which you have you know to advertise for example if you need to advertise only connected only static routes only something means, means which you must aware about that before advertising it okay so since we are done with this one and this is the lab i'm going to demonstrate on that one and close okay so just close this one and now let's look at the ping here we received the ping you can see we are able to reach them so enter vrf routing start working so let me quickly show you here again what exactly how that works this is the vrf blue and this is the vrf red this is the vrf red so get routes and get routes so if you look at this one so we can see enter vrf route ivs this one we have received ivs this one we have received and you can see there's another link created in between that i'll show you that one so you can see here as well as and this option comes in 4.1 later on prior to that we don't have option this one so if you look at this one ivs route these are the ivs routes which we have covered here okay so if i'll show you here and go to the interface when we have select the inter vrf routing this interface is going to be created automatically this one and using this one the routing going to be propagate among each other like which i have shown you 2.2 .2. So 2.2, we have VRF red, which is on the right. We have that one here. 2.1, and it must be on the blue side. 2.2. So yeah, to reach this network, you need to go there. Like same way, if you if you you know uh, think in that perspective, if you look at the leak side, so route leaking, we did the same, but it was kind of manual stuff. But right now it's a, it's a dynamic, it's it's a routing, we are routing. Okay, so here's one more thing uh, which I need to cover. So as of now, this is initially done by route leaking, then it's done by interviref routing. So now, now it is that uh, the blue VRF which is sitting here, the blue VRF VM can only talk to this VM which is on the top side means the network which is on the left side right and the red VRF can talk to only this so in case of if we have a requirement where client said like this is both their client or customer having the shared resources where they want like this is going to be used by both and this is also going to be used by both like this one right so how you are going to achieve it it can be achieved by BGP but the only way is, which is called BGP route leaking. How we are going to configure it? Let me show you. So I am again jumping to my lab. So where we have left, as of now we are seeing only route related to the dynamic inter VRF inter routing which we can say. And now if we are moving to towards here and where we left, if I am going to edit this one and inter VRF routing and here's the concept bgp route leaking initially what we have done we have advertise all correct and now for this one we need to modify it and set here the same way you can deploy uh, deploy the you know filter here as well as in filter out filter in filter the thing which is coming out to inward and out filter which is going to be propagate to outside so I'm not touching this one as of now. I'm just enabling the route leaking. IPv4. Apply. Save. And close. And same thing. Close editing. And same thing I'm going to do for VRF red. Enter VRF routing. Enable it add apply 
so close everything so right now if i am uh, looking for this one so as of now if i'm sitting here this machine 10.0.210.1 this is the existing one and now we are also going to ping this one which is the belongs to the different VRF here we go we are able to see the ping and the same thing I am going to look at here Ten dot zero two two zero dot one. Ten dot zero dot two two zero dot one. And now two one zero. Here we go. So from here, using BGP routing, we are able to see the traffic on the both the sides. If I'm going to look at the routing table, what exactly routing table we are getting here? Now we are getting both the routes. You can see here. Initially we received only one route if you look at here, but now we are getting both the routes This is all all the agenda behind it Okay, so uh, Before wrap up what we have covered in this video. We have covered the enter VRF route leaking First thing which is a manual process then enter VRF routing then enter VRF BGP route leaking these are the three concepts which we have covered under this one as of now, I have covered the only NSX and configuration like from the T0 till the gateway and all, till the VRF, till the all. So if uh, I, I didn't show you the configuration which we have on the BIOS, so if you need how I have configured the entire BIOS with the how how a single router work, uh, if I'll show you how single router works here. So if you need a separate video on that because this is again a lengthy process where I, I have you know created the VRF for both the uh, VRF blue and and, and I have placed that concentration here so if you need further further information like how I have done the virus concentration and place under the lab so just do the comment and uh, if needed I'll, I'll create another video and share it with you thank you guys